Day number four, y'all. Cypress Hill, Knot Fest, Slipknot, 2022. Cypress Soldier Stories. Right now we are in Albany, New York, but we still have to recap Manchester, New Hampshire. So far, that's probably about my favorite show so far because I think that we're kind of starting to dial it in. The day started out really cool, you know? I mean, we got, got there, it was hot as a motherfucker up there. And we got in, it's cool, set everything up, we were great. But it was the day that the backgammon tournament really started. The gig felt uh, pretty good, you know, we, because we were just pretty much chilling up until the gig. You know, we're either going to be in the bus or our dressing room, hanging out, talking shit. Um, this particular day, we held a, a, a backgammon tournament while we were lying in wait for the show. And uh, guess who? Um, reign supreme. This guy, Dr. Green Thumb. Only one outcome that I am number one. Uh, yes, I smoked uh, Bobo first, rolled him up, and Fat Joint smoked him. Then um, I think it was Mike G smoked him up. I got smoked on my birthday. I thought they were gonna go easy on me on my birthday, but nope, no love. Fucking brutal. A lot of shit talking, a lot. And um, first, uh, I think it was, uh, I think I played first and I, I I lost. I lost, I kinda, you know, I lost. I don't, no, you know what? Bullshit. I played Mike G and I, I won. It was the best two out of three. That's how we're kinda doing it. You lost the first game. Yeah, yeah, I think I lost the first game and then I came back and I just got that ass. Well, then I smoked up uh, Trace. Then I had to smoke Trace twice. Um, yeah, he got smoked twice. So, um, you know, because he made it to the championship round where he, you know, um, he, he gave me a good run. I don't like the way any of this looks right here. This shit is totally fucked. He won the first game, but then that was all he got. Because then the two next games wiped him. So needless to say, I was in a great mood. And, and there is some footage of me receiving the trophy. First place of, Grandmaster. Uh, Gammon uh, King of the night. Thank you for coming. Um, Rock the Gammon game, so I was very, in a great, I was in a great mood. And uh, everybody was coming in, um, congratulating me and whatnot for my win. And, uh, you know, thank you to everybody out there. Number two. <laughs> Mike finished fourth. Doesn't matter if it's your birthday. It was his birthday, it doesn't matter. We're not letting you win. So Mike, you're gonna have a terrible birthday. Um, our gift to him was a loss. Mike finished dead last in the back, uh, backgammon tournament. Bo will finish in third. Be Real and I played for the championship. And uh, I took the first game and I was feeling really good about it. Talking a gang of shit. That's my game. I don't know if you guys know, but talking shit is my game. I will get under your skin playing backgammon and get you pissed off. You'll make a mistake. B made a couple. Corrected himself second and third game and uh, got me. So the first annual Cypress Hill tournament, um, Be Real gets the dub. And uh, I earned the nickname second place Trace. The crowd in New Hampshire was insane. Call and response, they were on point. Um, dropout music, they were on point. Even the opening set when I was um, dropping some classic tunes, they were on it. On point. Shouts out to New Hampshire. You guys rocked the house. Yo, my name is DJ Lord from the Mighty Cypress Hill. How the fuck y'all doing tonight? So, you know, we touched the stage and, you know, now our show is, is now dialing in a little bit um, better than what we started on the first show. Before we get out there, um, you know, we do our prayer. We do our ritual prayer for Cypress Hill. We send a positive and healing vibe to our brother Send Dog. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, get, get that spirit running. And we get out there and boom. We start smashing it. The show's got, I mean, the crowd's just receiving it. 
Anthony. This was a live fucking show. Like it was bananas, nuts. Like, you know, the people are vibing out there um, early. And you know, that's always tricky because some, some crowds are like saving it up for the headliner. You know, like they might not be as ah, ah, ah in your face because you know, they're saving it for Slipknot because Slipknot's doing like a two hour show. And if you want to get rowdy, you got to sort of, you know, pace yourself. But there would be no pace in this venue. These motherfuckers were full throttle in New Hampshire, in Manchester, New Hampshire. Awesome salute to y'all motherfuckers. I don't know what y'all drinking in your water, but keep drinking that shit. I feel that the energy was the way that it needed to be. Um, and we went, we, we, we played strong. The crowd was off the hook. I think that they were ready for some Cypress Hill. <laughs> decided to do something different. Bobo knows all of Sendog's lyrics, so, you know, we thought it would be cool for Bobo to come from the percussions down to do Insane in the Brain, do Sendog's verse on Insane in the Brain. And uh, Bobo came, got his MC, put his MC shoes on, some fucking Air Max, the motherfucking fisherman hat, bang! Understand, there's always been a dream of mine. Just get the mic, you know, and just like, like do that, you know. I didn't, I didn't grab my nuts this time, like you know, I did the first time. Uh, I got the mic. Mashed out, send dogs verse, and uh, salute the Lord too, because on this, on this particular show, we decided, you know, instead of cutting a verse out, cutting send dogs verses out, and making the song potentially shorter, we decided that. Um, on We Ain't Going Out, Bobo would do a piece of Send Dogs verse, Lord would do a piece of Send Dogs verse, and then, you know, I would end it. And it actually ended up pretty fucking dope, like it going from one, two, three, and and the rest. Uh, it, was, it was really dope. We tried some different things that night, and it ended up working out. Yeah, man, as an artist, don't ever be afraid to take chances and, and try something different because I mean, that's where you find the gold at. You know, if, if you have this show locked in a certain way and you like, you know what, I'm not gonna change it because this works. You could never evolve from that. Like, you know, they say if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? That's good to a degree, but if you've done that show so many times, you gotta start finding things to make it interesting and, and, and challenge yourself, you know what I mean? And as Cypress Hill, we fucking do that. So, um, salute to everybody that fucking received that. I love these guys and what's going on with these guys is really something to see. Um, the adversity that they went up against with Send Dog going down, um, I mean, uh, uh, Send Dog we all know is a key, key figure uh, of the puzzle. And when a piece like that gets taken out, it really shows the professionalism of the other guys and stepping up the way Be Real has, Lord has, and Bobo has. Got even Bobo now coming out from behind the percussion um, stage and grabbing a mic and getting out there front and center. MC Bobo, we like to call him. Um, Lord has stepped up uh, the game doing his background vocals. But to see these guys from the adversity rise and to pull off in a very short amount of time, um, not even a full week of shows. It's amazing to see what these guys do. It's the reason why they've been around for 30 years. It's the professionalism, um, the team behind them, myself, Dan, our tour manager, uh, Bobby, our tech guys, everybody knew that we were uh, up against something here with Send going down. Um, a lot of the other guys have a lot of other things to think about.
which gives us a lot of other things to think about. But uh, it's amazing to see this team uh, come front and center the way it has, and just amazing shows. I think uh, that if you do come out for uh, one of these shows on this tour, you're going to see something real special. Guy's got some special surprises for you. Um, and like I said, uh, after 30 years of doing this, you're going to see why these guys are the fucking mighty Cypress Hill. This joint right here is dedicated to the dog. Hold up, wait. Before we do this, all right, look. We're all gonna howl at the moon together for the dog right now, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh! 